in the studio now with the biggest stories from showbiz and sport. We've got the wonderful Hayley Palmer and Aidan. The less wonderful Hayley. <laughs> <Hayden. laughs> you see, these digs are gone. But also, it's kind of good fun to have those digs and that little bit of joshing. I know well, most things are illegal now, but you should be able to well, still have jokes between I think aiden has got some breaking news oh, about, about yeah, the, the tennis. few minutes, Andy Murray has sadly, uh, his run at the Australian Open has come to an end. He's been okay. beaten in four sets by Roberto Bautista. Who's six one six seven six three six four six? It was a gargantuan effort by Murray. They all seem to be gargantuan effort. All yeah, he even he even exhausted. Well, even his opponent has just come out of a five setter as well. But he finished at five past four in the morning earlier in the week, begging the question. I mean, it almost took away from his achievement in some ways because everyone kept asking, well, why is it finishing at five past four in the morning? That's was anyone left in the in the crowd? Yeah, well, I don't I don't think they, I don't they let them out. Oh, really? <laughs> it's, not, it's not that easy to get out of a tennis match. Do you know when you have a comedy gig, do they do that, though? <laughs> <laughs> Lock you in, don't they, let you have it. They, they need to. That, they no, need not to. at all. That, that no, is, not at all. That is, pack an audience. Yeah. <laughs> Hayley, what's happened in the world of showbiz? Well, there is a new Love Island that has been commissioned. I had talked about it before, but it was just kind of putting it out there. But now it's definitely happening. It's called Romance Retreat, and it's for the over-40s that are single parents. And what happens is your children actually put you forward for it. I want to see this. I've got to say, I think I'm getting old because I'm not really enjoying Love Island this year. It's the same old thing. There isn't any good chat. They're, they're just boring me. So I'm rooting for this. We want to see real people. We want to see real bodies. And we want to see people that have got life stories. Bring it do, on. Do so it's all, it's all looks and no conversation. Yeah, they say, oh, let's go and have a chat. And their chat is so bad, it's like Aiden's chat. <laughs> isn't, isn't, isn't but the jokes, are they better than Aiden's? Yeah, the jokes are better than Aiden's. No, no, that's, that's, that's not a high problem. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, do people, I didn't know people watch Love Island for the chat. I mean, I... I well, they were always saying, oh, let's go and have a chat, because clearly the producers have said that to them. But I think, yeah, you know, they do look beautiful. But to be honest with you, Maya Jamma looks so stunning. I think she just wiped the floor with everyone else. Oh. I mean, it's hard to beat what she looks like. Now, I was interested in the BAFTAs. Hi, Philip. Oh, Philip, who's that? Oh, my <laughs> word. <laughs> so can we start oh. that again? I think that oh. came in a little bit. They ruined the surprise, but here it is just for you from Hayley, Philip. Hi, Philip. I couldn't resist. I oh, saw Rachel Hayley. Stevens from S Club uh, at Cirque oh, Soleil in the Royal Albert Hall this week, and I thought, here's my moment. I went, excuse me. Uh, Phil's a massive fan. Uh, she was in the toilet queue, but I just had to, you know, wait, wait, take wait, wait, let's, let's, not, let's not ruin the moment. I think he, he might be silenced now, thank am, God, for the it. rest of the programme. Yeah, I think it was well timed that we got did that he, in did you promise, a little earlier. Did you promise her an autograph from Phil that, to you? That was... That, <laughs> yeah, it's a shame. It's that a shame. was... Uh, well, thank you, Hayley. That's, you've made my day. That's OK. You've made, you've yeah. made my day. All those insults... Yeah, take it all back. Rachel Stevens, say hello to me. I mean, my life's complete now. Right, move on to sport. Yeah, we've got... He won't be able to say anything. No, no, he's no nil by mouth, isn't he? Um, 12 30, Liverpool v Chelsea. It's been branded, you have to excuse the, the word here, El Crapio, because it's been, you know, we, we know the Spanish game, El Clasico. Uh, Liverpool v Chelsea is ninth against 10th. They're having their worst seasons in years, these two. They're going underway at uh, 12 30. Um, we had some interesting track. Oh, sorry, West Ham Everton as well later today. The loser of that one could get the sack. So that's David Moyes at West Ham and Frank Lampard at Everton. David Moyes has a big connection with Everton. It's possible, even if they lose today, that he could end up as Everton manager this time next week and go back there. He spent 12 years there, back there between 2002 and 2013. So that's possible, possible that can happen. And then tomorrow, Crystal Palace, Newcastle. Interesting transfer news as well. Leandro Trossard joining Arsenal from, uh, from Blackburn, sorry, from Brighton, £21 million plus seven in add-ons. And then we've got the boxing tonight as well. Interesting. It's 10 o'clock, the ring walk, Liam Smith against Chris Eubank Jr. Mm, that's like going to be a massive There's fight. been a lot of chat on that beforehand, mm. hasn't there? A lot of chat, yeah. Been doing we can't repeat much of it here. No, but it's uh, a <laughs> bad chat or back chat chat or whatever. But the BAFTAs, yes. how about that, Hayley? Yes, they're coming up soon, aren't they? But what I want to talk about is Kylie Minogue because she is uh, doing very well for herself at the moment. Apparently, she has made £7.7 7 million pounds, uh, for putting her name to a bottle of Prosecco. Mm. And apparently... 
every 1.5 seconds, someone is actually sipping the Prosecco. Has anyone tried it? We, we no, don't actually have I'm more of a champagne right man, now. really. So she's, oh, right. she, she's not like sort of the Brad Pitts of this world. Some of them have actually got sort of vineyards and are producing their own. Yeah, she's not done that. She's no. just attached to her name. Attached well, that's a lot why, easier way why? to do things, isn't it? The, don't do the hard work. Just no. put your Did name you, on a bottle. You understand celebrity in a way that I don't, Hayley. Why? <laughs> although Rachel Stevens, I will make an exception for, as you know. But why does somebody buy a bottle of Prosecco just because it's got Kylie Minogue's name on it? I mean, because I find this quite... Like, it's like if Rachel Stevens had a Prosecco, you'd go, you'd be walking along yeah. Asta and you'd be like, oh, I think yeah, you... I treat myself that. Well, if, I could buy eat, Magnum. If, if, if Rachel Stevens came with the bottle, I'm, <laughs> well, I'm not trying to buy it just because it had a name on it. Yeah, that bottle would be slightly more expensive. Wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. How long has this been going on? How long have these sales been? Has this been going on for that last year or so? How long? Yeah, I believe she must have so. sold a lot. Quite a few celebrities have been putting their names to bottles of Prosecco. Um, I haven't actually seen it myself, but apparently you can get it in Asda Morrison's. It's about twelve pounds. Kylie's been sort of doing this for some time. She's got sort of uh, night, you know, bed sheets and sort of various other things. She's put her name next to quite a few things like that, and she's done very well for herself. In That's what area. I mean. I think maybe when you are a celebrity, your manager just kind of goes, "Would you want to do this and do that?" And you go, "Yeah, a bit of extra cash. Why not?" <laughs> And Dolly Parton's had a 77th birthday. Oh, big Dolly fans here on the show. And, yeah, she was 77 uh, years old. She's got a new single to give back to her fans. Also got a new album coming out, and apparently Cher's going to be on it. Mm. And Pink. Oh. There I we mean, go. Are you Dolly, Dolly Parton? I love Dolly Parton. I yeah. think she's got a cracking sense of humor. I mean, put aside, obviously, sort of legend in music, you know, her songs, the words, everything. But I just think she's hilarious. She's got fantastic sort of comebacks and all the stuff she's done for charity. Yeah, I know, exactly. Yeah. Right. She's a, she's she's did you mention Pink as well, though? Yeah, Pink's yeah, on there as well. There. Yeah, I like Pink. The more, thing my, more, my, more my idea. Oh, I don't know what you're saying now. <laughs> <laughs> Dolly, Dolly has been around for yeah, Dolly has been around for ethic. I want to mention the uh, BAFTAs here, Hayley. This is my... I've got my, my beef here. I was, I was looking at the full list of nominations. Most There's of it, no, no Rachel Stevens on there. No, no. I, I looked twice to make sure. I, and, I mean, most of it... Most of these people I haven't even heard of. The bit I couldn't understand for the... Like, there's all these categories, thousands of categories. I mean, it's difficult not to win something at the BAFTAs. There's that mm -hmm. many categories. Yeah. But the category I couldn't work out for the BAFTAs, the British Academy Film Awards, was best film not in the English language. I mean, why do you have a best film not in the English language at the BAFTAs? It seems bizarre. Is it only just me that thinks that that's... Well, they're looking I think, out of the world. They're looking globally, looking at the things that could win an award. I'm guessing it's that rather than it was a British film which was made abroad. Could it have been a British company supporting yeah. something else? Where, like, is Elvis Ford up for an award? Elvis. Elvis is. Elvis, yeah. Elvis is up for best and film. And I think Oscar okay, Butler good. is as well, and he oh, needs good. to be. Good, I, That's my go-to. Yeah, yeah no, uh, we, we... That is definitely the one I would be putting my we name like Elvis. over. We enjoyed I Elvis. That was fantastic. I thought he was a great actor. Yeah. Hayley, thank you very thank much. Just quickly, Hayley. Novak Djokovic oh, yeah, is through in, uh, in three sets. Say that again. But Novak Djokovic is through in three sets at the Australian Open, so he's advancing on to possibly his 22nd Grand Slam. We never know. We don't Fantastic know. final words to you there. But that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for getting involved. Don't forget, if you want to be in Speaker's Corner, get involved. Uh, email us, GB News, at GB News, saying you want to be on the show with Phil and Esther. As I said, we'll be back next week. But up next is the wonderful Alistair Stewart with Friends.